Hello, hello everyone, welcome back. So I have a small Hobby Lobby haul and a Joann's. So at Hobby Lobby, you know, everything's going around saying that there's a big clearance for Hobby Lobby and the crafting supplies area and other areas. But of course, I only had to hit the crafting supplies. So I was in a hunt for the Tim Holtz. Well, I went a little bit too late because I have went two weeks ago, like way before August 1st, and um, there was no markdowns. Um, there was a lot of clearance in the sewing department, and I found a, a, a stuff of that too. And also too, I went back two or three days after that, no markdown yet. So I called them on a Friday, and they told me that they would mark down the week before the 1st of August. So I went the week before August the 1st. So it was like um, July 30th, 31st. I went, I went two times, the 30th and 31st. No markdown guys. So they must've done it on the weekend and I missed it. So I went the following week. That was the first week of August and um, they still haven't marked down. So I was like, what's going on? It was already August 1st and they haven't marked down nothing. So I ended up going um, two, two or three days ago and they already had marked down. So I guess after the August the 1st, they marked down and I didn't go into the following week. So yeah, guys, I missed it, but I did find some. Some people were nice enough to leave one or two things for me. So that's a good thing. So let's get started, guys, on things that I found on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So the first thing that I picked up was this uh, for $2.24. And it's the stuff. Really cool. Um, the paper, it's from Paper Studio. The regular price was $8.49. And I got it for $2.24. So I thought this was really cool, guys. So it's from Paper Studio. Really nice. So I picked up one of those. Now I wish I would have picked up two, but I only picked up one. And then I did find for the cinch, uh, binding wires in black, and these were uh, $4.49, paper crafting. I got it for $2.24. So these are the smaller ones. So really cool, so I picked up that. And then I did find Bow Bunny. 18 pieces of the little rainbow. It says, be yourself. What? It says, be your own rainbow. Hopes. I think that's what that says over there. And then it says, joy. So it's really cute. For 99 cents, guys. It was $1.99, and I paid 99 cents for it. So really cute. So I thought that was really cute. So that would be nice to put in my collection, because I don't have that many stamps. And then I did find one only one guys of the embossing powder in white and this was $5.49 regular price and I got it for $2.74 so I picked up that and then I did find the chalk markers supposedly these you can actually use them on dry erase board that's what it says it says on glass windows and white board so I guess that's the the white erase boards. I'm not sure, but I don't know. I picked up these. These were a regular price was $6.49 and I got it for $1.62. So I picked up those. So I'm going to try them on my dry erase. If they come off, they come off. If they doesn't, oh well. Then this was the only thing left over from Tim Holtz. Uh, regular price was $5.49. I got it for $2.99. And they're the little um, Iologist um, little tokens scene notes just one let life and then go and see explore free to fly field notes these are really cute so i only found one guys so for 2.99 i picked it up it's the only one there and then their wax seal things were on clearance as well and this regular price was four dollars and 49 cents and i got it for a dollar 12 and this one is the uh, the sunflower. 
I don't know if I have this one, guys. I might have this one already, so I don't know. If I do, I might end up um, giving that away. I'm not sure, but I'll figure something out. But I think I already have this one, but I picked up that one. And then I did pick up this one with the little branch and this was uh, regular price $3.79 I got it for 94 cents I think I have this one as well I'm not really sure guys what I have I gotta look because I know I have bought some when they first started coming out and then I did find an inker blender um at regular price was $3.99 I got it for 99 cents so I left one behind for someone else to have so I only took one and then I did find this, guys, and I was really happy for this because this is red and like a maroon color. And this is really nice for Christmas. So that's why I picked it up and it was $1.74. Regular price is $6.99. So really cool, guys. And then I did pick up another wax seal. And this one's the key. And regular price is $7.99 and I got it for $1.12. So really cool. So I picked up those. And then I did pick up the wax seal. Um, I don't know what you call these. Um, there's 120 pieces. Uh, regular price is $5.49. I got it for $1.37. And this is like a lavender color. So I already have the other colors. Um, they didn't have no pink or anything left over. So that was the only one that was on clearance. Everything else was regular price. Oh, and then I did pick up this one. This one's $7.99. I got it for $1.12. And this one says thank you wax seal thing so i picked up that and then i did pick up this from paper studio this is a sticker patch one piece is the happy face i got it for 74 cents i thought that was really cute guys so i picked up that and then i did pick up this now this was regular price guys this was the Fill uh, the file cards, 16 pieces, regular price is $4.99, so that's what I paid for it. These were not on clearance, so I paid regular for that. And then I did find this on clearance for $2.99, regular price is $5.99, really cool. Now, this stuff right here, I went like last week, uh, I think it was like the second or third of, of August when they started marking down. And then I just went yesterday and this stuff started marking down. So not everything's marked down. They're taking their time marking it down. So it's either a hit or miss. And I guess I'm going to miss the, the backdrop papers and the other ephemeras that they're going to go on clearance. Because they're marking them down every other day. And, I, you know, I can't be going to Hobby Lobby every other day. It's not that close to me. So, yeah, guys. So... I'll probably miss out on that, but when I went, the papers were not on clearance and some of the ephemera packs were not on clearance or the the photo max or whatever you call them, they were not on clearance yet. So maybe today or tomorrow they'll be on clearance. So yeah, guys, so I picked up this. There's the only one left, so I picked up that. And then I did pick up this um this is the um, quote chips regular price was 6.49 i got it for 3.24 so i picked up that and the regular price on this was 5.99 i got it for 2.99 so yeah that's the only stuff that i saw that was on clearance and then um let me move this over guys because i went to joanne's and um, I kind of did some damage in Joann's. <laughs> uh, but I really wanted the stuff. I'm so sorry, guys. I really wanted the stuff. So I ended up picking it up. So Joann's is regular price, guys. But I did use some coupons. And I found some new stuff at Joann's that when I went there, I did not see it. So I ended up picking up more of the file cards from Tim Holtz. And these were regular price. I think these were $6.99. So I picked up some more of those. And then I did pick up this one. This one's the found relative, 45 pieces. I did not have this ephemera pack. So I picked up that and this was $8.99, regular price. So those are all the pictures that you get in there. Really cool. So I picked up that. 
And then I, this is what I was looking for. These are the mini file folders. They're eight pieces. And I picked up those. I should have picked up another one, but I might end up going back to pick up another one. And then um, that's what it looks like, what you get. So you get um, four large ones and four small ones. So really cool. So I picked up that. And then I did pick up the Frosted Crystals, the Translant Embossing Powder um, Idol for Creating Matte Frosted Textured. So I thought this was really cool. So I picked up that from Distress Mixed Media Effects from Ranger. So I picked up that. So, oh, this is the Embossing Crystal. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that. I thought it was like little, um, like stuff you put on, but... That's what I was looking for, so yay for that. <laughs> and actually, that was the last one of that. And then I did pick up the Crackle Paste from Distress Mixed Media Medium from Ranger. This one says Translant Gloss Paste Idol for Creating Crackle Dimensional Effects. So really cool, so I picked up that one. So, um, there was one more of this one, so I didn't pick the last one, but the Frosted Crystals, that was the last one for that. And then I did pick up the Distress Embossing Dapter, Dapter, whatever you call it. Um, so I got the clear one, really cool. And this was the last one of that one too. And I was really happy to find this stuff, guys, because I've been looking for it. And I didn't want to order it online. Then, guys, I went over to the Halloween section. The... I've never seen these. These are the first time I've seen them at Joann's. Maybe, you know, they've come out. I don't know. Um, every time, like I said, every time I go, when they start putting the stuff out, it takes them a long time to put up things. But then when I don't go and I take a week or two or three weeks or a month to go back, that's when I miss everything. So this time I walked into Joann's because I was looking for this stuff right here and these file folders and all that other stuff. I ended up finding these by the cashier. Um, so these are little uh, clay pieces of little um, stones, uh, not stones, but coffins with a cross in the middle. Really, really cute for, I'm sorry, for, um, you know, sequin mix. So I picked up these. These were $1.99, guys, $1.99 each. But there are 40, I think 40% off, so it came out to a dollar and change. So I picked up those. Then I did pick up the black bats. I don't know if y'all can see them. Really, really cool, guys. So I picked up those. These remind me of, um, they're called Halloween Mini Jars Happy. So really cute. Um, these remind me of the Target's Dollar Spot little jars that came out with uh, little ephemera pieces inside, like little um stuff that you can actually use and i have mine in my craft room i'll show you at the end of the video where mine are at and i'm gonna see if i can stick these in there too i don't know if they'll fit though but if not they'll be behind the other ones so yeah really cool so i picked up the bats then i did pick up the little pumpkins so remember guys these are clay pieces so I picked up that. And then the last ones I picked up, and they were the cutest ones ever, was the little ghost. Aren't those cute? Oh my God, these are so cute. And they did have other ones. These are just four. They had the bones, but they weren't clay. They were um, acrylic, like the ones from the Target's dollar spot. They had the bones, they had the, the brooms, and uh, they're, you know, little brooms. And then they had... Um, uh, glitter ones they had um, uh, the purple glitter the orange glitter and it was like the real fine glitter so yeah those are the only ones they had but I only picked up the the clay pieces and these are the only clay pieces they had um, so it's the ghost the pumpkin and the little um, coffin and the black bats I don't know if y'all can see them in there at first guys I thought these were like um sprinkles that you put on your cakes but then i was looking at them carefully and they're not they're little clay pieces really cool so they're right up by the cash register and behind it well mine was behind it uh where it has all the halloween cups and socks and 
um, little handbands for the kids. That's where those were, um, like on top of each other. Like the bottom piece were all, like I said, they were acrylic uh, bones, just like the ones from Target's Dollar Spot and the brooms, just like the Target's Dollar Spot. But uh, let me go ahead and show you uh, where I keep mine at. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm gonna, well, I'm not even gonna close you, but that's where mine are at from Target's Dollar Spot. And you can use all of those in your craft projects. I just haven't opened up mine. Um, I forgot about them. I just took them out. So yeah, that's where, those are the Target's Dollar Spot ones. So those are really, really cute. So yeah, guys, that is everything from my Dollar Tree. I mean, Dollar Tree. Oh my God. That is everything from my Hobby Lobby and Joanne's haul. If you like my videos, thumb them up. Leave me a comment if you wish and subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.